Guys, welcome back to my channel. Today I'm going to do a first impressions video. I have a lot of new makeup that I'm dying to try out, so let's just get into it. I have this uh, primer from Innisfree. I went to Innisfree the other day, and I didn't know that Innisfree was this affordable. Um, I, I would definitely visit a lot more Korean brands from now on because they are a lot more affordable or just around the same price range as our, you know, makeup products that are available in the pharmacy. So this is how it looks. Um, it's called the Innisfree No Sebum Blur Primer. I've worn this a few times already. This is not mine, by the way. This is my sister. So when I, whenever I do like a first impressions, it's not like I keluar can do it, pergi beli all this stuff. It's just like I have, I have siblings and I have my mom who loves makeup and I kind of like steal their makeup. So whenever I do a first impression, it ain't mine. It ain't mine. This is a primer. You can't really see it because it's really bright right now. Uh, I'm using natural lighting. This is the No Sebum Primer. I've worn this a few times, but uh, it doesn't seem to control my oil. However. It's really good at filling those pores. Yeah. Um, the texture reminds me so much of uh, the Benefit Professional. Again, my sister got a sample from Sephora for 50 ringgit. It's tiny, like that. And I, you know, I chill out a Whenever I think of primer, I'm looking for something that is going to extend the wear on my foundation and going to control my oil. And the Professional Primer doesn't really do that. And so does this one. But they are very similar though. The only thing about this is like, this is so much cheaper. It smells like mint or some sort of fragrant leaves. So it's not too strong where it irritates my skin, so, but it doesn't control my oil at all. Do you see how thick that is? You have texture issues, like maybe like dry skin over here, like those kind of scars where the skin is depressed, much like a couple. Then this is also going to fill that up, much like mint. Yeah. Just a little bit. It's not nothing too dramatic. Don't expect for a miracle. It does feel like, you know, a traditional primer. It's not moisturizing. This is just like, it has only one purpose. And the purpose is to just fill in your pores. Yeah, just take it like that. Um, not a bad product, but personally, it's not something that I'm looking for. Uh, I said, buy it. I didn't spend money on this one. <laughs> it's my sister's. Another thing that my sister got for herself is the Dior Snow White Reveal French Thirst <laughs> Gum. The thing that my sister got for herself is this foundation right here. This is the Dior Snow uh, White Reveal Fresh Transparency Liquid Foundation. This is obviously a little bit too fair for me, but I am going to make it work. For all of you yellow girls out there, you can actually purchase this one shade. This is in the shade Tawny from CoverGirl. And this is going to mix in with your lighter tone foundation and make it darker and yellower, olivier for your skin. It's a good mixing shade. And then I'm going to just uh, use a little bit, as you can see. If you are familiar with the texture of a normal bourgeois healthy mix foundation, this kind of feels like that just by touching it. I'm just going to use my fingers because why not? For the texture, it's quite a thick texture. When you kind of pump it, it doesn't run. So it's not like liquidy or watery. Hmm. Smells like an expensive old lady, which is nice. Bourgeois healthy mix foundation. That made my skin a red. This doesn't do that. Coverage-wise, not bad. It's just a little bit hard to blend. It's not really the kind of foundation that I would use brush with, but that is just my personal preference. I can imagine this working really well with a beauty blender. Tapi beauty blender, I belum cuci, so... I'm not sure whether it's my primer that's making the foundation harder to blend because it kind of like makes the foundation stick onto my skin. I'm not sure because this is my first time trying it out. I don't really understand first impressions video because you can never really tell, you know, because you are using... A lot of different products and if i put a powder on top i can't even tell whether the powder is good or not whether it's the powder or the foundation or the primer i can't tell Rabida. no it's gone that's all i've used everything and only in the center of my face i'm just gonna go through my nose it does look dry on my nose though does not look good on my nose um Mm -hmm. I have a little bit more because that was not enough on my skin. I'm gonna just dot it around because when it's all over my skin, I know I have to blend it really fast, so I'm not gonna take my time. Look at how the primer kind of mixes with the foundation and kind of like clumps together. That's weird. Like the foundation isn't a good mix with the primer. It mixes together and it makes my nose look so rough. So I'm just going to take a piece of tissue. In my case, the face mask that I use in the morning. I'm just gonna wipe it. So this is without the primer. Let's see if it's going to do something weird on my nose on its own. So then I can only blame the foundation instead of the primer. It's the foundation and not the primer. Okay, it's not the primer guys. It's the foundation. My sister has mentioned that the foundation is a little bit cakey. Usually when I tap a very small amount of foundation on my nose like this, it rarely looks cakey because you know, you're only blending a small amount of product on there. But it does look a kind of... 
I'm flattering. The areas here where I have really dry skin kind of clings onto that. So maybe for oilier skin, oily, really smooth, not texture skin. Yeah. I recently got the Mineralized Skin Finish in the shade Medium Golden. I have to say it does look light, but it doesn't really have a lot of coverage. So even if you use it, it's not going to uh, look gray the old mineralized skin finish that i have from mac is the one in the color dark and i have always used this as you can see it's supposed to be in a dome shape like that tapi yang ini pun macam dah the dome is flattened not just that it has a depression on the dome the new formulation kind of kicks up a little bit more powder though I'm just gonna use this to set my makeup it's a very lightweight powder i picked up the mac mineralized skin finish in medium golden because i was so in love with this powder right here this is from chanel it's the matte perfection lumiere in the color beige i really like this because it looks so translucent and it just makes your complexion look so much more perfected and has like a tiniest coverage i was doing a bit of research on that one because that one is really expensive and the mac mineralized skin finish is actually a dupe for that one and i have to how to say i don't want to say i disagree because i already got this but it's not i think the chanel one is more traceless when it comes to you know when you apply it onto the skin this one is more affordable than the chanel one so that's why i got this one instead both expensive regardless though this is a very finely milled uh mineral powder and this is by far my favorite mineral powder in all my collection, I've tried um, Bare Minerals, I've tried Rona Sutra, I haven't really tried a lot actually to make that comparison, but I tried the one from um, uh, uh, Sephora and I don't really like that. Kind of like using a lot of this and my face does not look cakey. Hmm. I don't have any new bronzer though, so I'm just going to use this mineralized skin finish in the color dark and just going to just dust it at the outer perimeters on my face. I don't have any new concealer. Um, I don't really wear a lot of concealer nowadays uh, because I'm okay with you know a little bit of imperfection peeking through my skin. It makes me look like I have less makeup on. Kononya. There are a lot of powders out there that matcha looks good when it's on top of a foundation but doesn't when it's on top of just bare skin. But the mineralized skin finish doesn't stick um, more or so on the product that has more concealer or foundation or bare skin. It just looks so even. So if you are the kind of person that just spots conceal and then you just want to rub powder all over, then the mineralized skin finish is a good one for, for you and it has a very small amount of coverage coverage factor is negligible but it's not cakey you can like touch up your face for like 10 times but it doesn't look cakey however um not the best at oil control though but it's still a nice a nice powder to have if you're looking into a natural non-cakey mineral based powder because i think mineral macam, people have the perception that mineral powders are better before this video i film a morning skincare routine and that th I just filmed my morning skincare routine and that video is going to be in Malay and yeah I'm just going to put my makeup on and do a really good thumbnail for that video so I'm just going to do my base first I went to Daiso and I picked this up uh you guys have seen me use this before but in this shade this looks so bad I try to wipe it but you know it's plastic and it's scratched and no matter what you do it's still gonna look gross this is a powder from Daiso the brand is called El Far or something like that it's just gonna add color no texture no nothing it has a bit of glow because it has very small shimmer because some shimmer just exaggerate the look of your texture just exaggerate the look of your pore but this is not the kind of shimmer that does that and I really like this this is in the shade pink but obviously uh mama is too brown for this color because this is just too light this has been in my collection for a while now but as i was swatching it it does look like a really pretty highlighter and i used it as a highlighter and it was it's the most subtle low so pretty it's not going to reflect your pore it's not gonna re reflect your bumps it's just it just adds a little bit of luminosity apparently because you know i'm too brown you can't really see the color as much but you can see the glow it's so natural so natural the highlighter was in pink i'm using the one in orange because i feel like i want to glow this is going to be my blush for today i've applied blush on my cheeks but then i'm also going to take the same blush and apply this on the highest point on my temple i'm a brown girl and sometimes when i just apply blush over here it just looks odd it's concentrated at only two points on my face so i just apply it here so at least people know that you know i have blood over here too I have blood over here as so well. I have blood all, all over instead of just concentrate on my cheeks. Uh, it does look a little bit more realistic. Obviously, if you apply blush anywhere, makeup is still makeup. It's not going to look natural, but it does make it look like a bit more seamless. So I got the No Sebum Blur Powder from Innisfree. And 
it's kind of like a mineral rock kind of thing it's supposed to control your oil don't know but i just apply a bit too much because this powder can look cakey it doesn't how to see it does look dusty on the skin but it does control your oil so hopefully i'm just gonna pat it all over now, this is not the green powder okay this is kind of like a skin tone flesh color powder it's not colorless if you have lighter skin tone then maybe this can pull a bit peachy and make you look uh you know blushed and sun-kissed and if you have darker complexion this can make you look slightly ashy because there's a lot of peachy tones in this uh it's not yellow so uh be careful the oil controlling properties is a lot better than the mac mineralized skin finish so uh if you're looking for something that is mattifying or you know just looking for something that acts kind of like a uh finishing powder then this can be a really good one but be careful it can look cakey uh, okay now you can really see the glow because everything else is mattified now you can really see that that glow is just from the blush it doesn't look like mary luminizer the atas ni no it's very natural and what's nice about using a finishing powder or kind of like any loose powder as a finishing step is that it kind of blends everything together you can't see lines you can't see streaks everything is just you know a part of your skin kind of thing so uh that's nice but i think i want something else as my finishing powder because this can look a little, little bit more cakey nowhere as cakey as the pixie to a cake though not as cakey as that but still it does look powder on the skin that is my opinion on most of the product and i hope you guys enjoy the video and yeah i will see you guys in my next one okay